All right, been a while, everyone. Um, this tutorial is gonna be about changing existing white types, basically changing an interior, uh, like the entities and props used in an interior. I've seen people struggle with this in a way. Uh, they they have a tendency to use Y maps to add their details, which is incorrect. Uh, that's not going to show up because a Y map is a a different instance compared to where your interior is. So the way an interior works is that when you walk inside a building or in, when you're inside an, an interior building, you are teleported into or not teleported, but you're changed into another area, if you can call it that. So my example, and this is going to work for all uh, for all interiors. Uh, in this case, you will be modifying the original interior. Keep that in mind. Meaning that if you modify this one and you make a copy, it's going to show up on all the copies. Um, but I think the number one example of what I've seen is something like changing the, <coughs> the police station uh, and the interior for the police station. So first things first. We'll find a police station. We hit T like usual, so we get our top right, top left bar. Sorry. We create a new project. And then we enable our selection and our movement tool. Then we just go inside. So in this case, we want to make some changes to the lobby itself. So we just select something. In this case, I'm just going to select the seats and I'm going to I'm going to click add to project. So as you can see, we have a list, a long list up here with objects and other things. That is because this is the white type, which is the one that controls the interior itself. So high DLC, highest police. As per usual, you want to make sure you have enable mods and enable DLC on to always get the latest uh, version of an, a Y map or a Y type. If you don't do this, you will be modifying an old version. I know, especially for the uh, police station, uh, since it has high underscore, meaning this is part of a heist update. So there was a mod, mod like Rockstar made a change to this at some point, meaning that if you don't have enabled DLC on, you will be ma making changes to an older version and it's not going to show up in game. And it's just going to be an all around headache for you to figure that out. So just keep that in mind. Enable DLC always. <clears throat> so now we have our Y type in the project. So what people usually do is that they uh, they change the Y map instead. So if we select the interior instance itself, you can see now we have all the information about the place with portals and so on. Um, it doesn't allow us to ch to add that, so I'm just going to move it instead. So when I move it, it's going to show up, and then we're going to control set to move it back to its original position. We don't want to have that moved at all. So now you can see we have a DLC, uh, not a DLC, my bad. We have a Y map. You don't, you do not want to make any changes to this Y map up here. This is not what what we work on. Usually, yes, when you work on exteriors, like outside, you work on Y maps, but for interiors, all the information is in a Y type, not in the Y map. So in theory, we do not want to use this Y map at, at all. We don't actually want this in our project. So I'm going to just remove this again. So we have our heist DLC heist police dot Y type. So from here, we can just start making changes. So say for these, I do not actually want these. Make sure, as per usual, go on Codewalkers Discord and download the latest dev version. In my case, I'm on dev 33. There were some changes to some of you. Just download the latest version because you're going to have issues and some things are not going to work. Uh, <clears throat> so yes, um, just say that we, we want this area to be clean and we don't actually want these seats. In this case, we can, unlike usual, and we don't recommend you ever deleting in Y maps, but for this, you can just click these and just delete the entities. There we go. So now we deleted those. 
we also want to, uh, let's say, want to make some changes. So something to also keep in mind is that there is a different rooms. So you don't want to, let's say, copy something and then move it to a different room. That's going to cause issues. It's not going to show up. Or it's, going to, it's going to show up incorrectly. So you can see when I select something like this flag here, it's in the, the rooms, PH lobby room. So in this case, it's the room number two, which is the lobby room. If I go to, say, this office and click on something, you can see it changes to room number four, which is the office room. So you want to make sure you're always in the correct room when you add and delete something. For deleting, it's not an issue because it's really, it's going to change to the room by itself. But if you add something, say, I want to add something back into this room. If I go to Y type now, click on MLO and new entity, I'm going to be adding that entity to the office room. Easiest way is really just select something in the room you want to add something to. Either shift, copy it like so, and then just change the archetype to something else. Let's see if we change that to... Obviously, this is all for, for testing and showing off, so I wouldn't normally add that to here, but there is that. Or you can go to your Y type, MLO, new entity, and then you get the egg as per usual. And we want to add what we want to add. I don't know what I want to add. I want to add another uh, radiator just because I'm going to add that radiator there. I'm going to make sure it's a static and I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to move it down. All right. So that that's good enough. Just let's say like that. It's good enough. <clears throat> at the same time, People have also had issues with doors. So in this case, when we select something like these, these are all going to be part of the room, pH lobby room. If I select the doors on the other hand, so in this case, I'm going to select the front two doors. These are going to be part of the portals and they're going to be in the portal, uh, portal part rather than in the room part. That's because these are tied to the portals of you going inside and outside and or from the outside and inside so you should be able to make changes you can just straight up select these if i want to make that uh let me just <clears throat> select this i guess this is purely for testing purposes this is gonna look like ass so i'm selecting that door i'm selecting this door this one is rotated so also, if you have the latest version of Code Walker, there is a handy feature called snapping, rotation snapping. So it's set to five degrees by default, meaning when I change and rotate this, it, it, it rotates in five degree uh, ticks or snaps, making it easier to do a 180 for something. So you can see. So now we change that. Is there anything else we want to do here? Uh... I don't know. I don't think there's something else I want to add. So in this case, we only changed the uh, interior with something else that exists in this interior. So keep in mind that usually you would have to create a new manifest. Like you would have to go to tools and manifest generate. Since we haven't changed the actual manifest for this place, meaning we haven't added any entities from outside any new entities from a new entity set. Like this already existed in the in in the interior. The same with this this chair is probably more than likely the same entity set as this chair. But say I go okay. I want to I want to add a fancy light. So I'm going to yoink the light from the bank. I'm just going to let it load in. There we go. Oh, so we're going to turn off deferring shading so I don't have my uh, PC struggle. I'm going to copy this lamp just because. And then I'm going to select the prop and I'm going to go to. Ooh, nope, they won't allow me to do that. And I don't have the Y map, so we're going to just fly back. All right. So. 
now when I add this light, so I'm just going to do the same as usual. I'm going to select. Um, no, I'm making a new entity. So we're making sure that we have the room selected. I'm clicking on this one over here. Go to Y type MLO new entity. And then I'm going to just paste the uh, high prop bank ornament. I'm going to move it up. Like obviously this doesn't fit, but hey, for testing purposes, we'll be all right. Keep in mind that occasionally there is chances that some things don't show up and this is just GTA 101. Uh, another handy tool is, let's say I want this to be really perfect in the middle here, but this, the pivot is all the way up here. What you can do is you can go to pivot, edit pivot, uh, pivot in the world view, then move this down to, I just want it to be right there, makes it easier for me. And then we disable this, meaning that now the pivot point is on the base rather than all the way up the top. It's going to not, it's, it's not going to change anything for the actual object itself. And it's just going to reset whenever you reload code Walker. So don't be afraid, uh, but it just makes it easier to sometimes when you have a bigger entity to uh to you know move them around so we now added a <clears throat> the light from the bank so this means that we now have an entity from another entity entity set that is not part of the uh, uh what's it called the um the police station so in this case you might be able to get it to work but Usually when you add something from another entity set, you want to update the manifest. So you can try. You can try to just save this Y type and stream it and see if it works. If it doesn't work, it's more than likely manifest that is missing. So we are going to save this Y type. I'm going to save this to my uh, interior tutorial. Make sure you don't rename the Y type itself. In this case, we want to keep the same name because we just want to update the existing Y type and the existing details in that Y type. So we're saving this. And then we go to tools, manifest, generate. And it should have high V heist one, which in this case is more than likely from this. That is the one that is causing that. So we're going to save the manifest to our interior tutorial and click on save. All right, so I'm not going to go over how to stream things. I have made tutorials about this before. Uh, I do want to show that CFX has updated uh, their files a little bit. I'll show you what they updated. So we got go into our interior tutorial. We take our manifest and our high, uh, our Y type. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go into my server, which is located Where's my little, uh, where's my server at? Epic server, server master, resource, tutorials, Y type. So here's the update. So instead of having underscore underscore, uh, I think what manifest that Lua is what we had before. It's now called FX manifest. I'll show you what's inside of it. It's going to go stream and I'm just going to paste these two. So. <clears throat> in the FX manifest, the Lua. It's changed around a little bit. It, it's somewhat the same, but not really. You can see in FX version, you have Bo Bodak Bodakius. I don't know how to pronounce that. In game, we have GTA 5, since this is a, for GTA 5. And this is a map. Yes. I will leave this in the description as per usual, so you can just copy paste that. Uh, so all you basically have to do is just up update your, your uh, manifest Lua name and add that instead. <clears throat> so as per usual, we go back, go to our server config. I'm going to update that. Let me just make sure I don't show something, which is already too late. No, it should be good. So we're going to start Y type. As per usual, this is because resources under tutorials, it's called Y type. So I'm just going to save that. And just so my PC is not going to be struggling, I'm going to be saving this project tutorial. 
and close this. All right, so let's fire up the server. I have a fancy thing, so I can just click on starter.bat and click on 5M. <clears throat> like I said, uh, right now we are making changes to the existing in interior, meaning that this is going to be affecting all interiors. Even if you make a copy, it's going to make uh, make changes to that. So let me just enable game capture, make sure that it's capturing the right one. Yep, there we go. Just to have smoothest, smoothest experience, maybe, possibly. All right, so more than likely for the next tutorial I'm going to do is going to be just deleting stuff from the world. Um, like just deleting things that are around, uh, because apparently that's also a, a thing people seem to be struggling with. There's a few rules with deleting stuff you shouldn't delete and uh, child entities and whatnot so i'll go over that all right so here you can see the doors have changed we have the the lamp on the inside we have the chairs the chairs changed uh and the other one is missing so that worked that actually you know on the first go as well which is a surprise <laughs> so that's really how it is when you want to update uh and then the interior you don't use y maps you change the Y type and then you make changes to that. So, and don't mind the uh, the red stuff. That's another plugin for checking portals, which is used in interiors that I will also be creating a tutorial for. So don't worry, I'll get to that at some point. So yeah, this is how you update interiors. So I hope you can use this information. I hope you enjoyed this little <laughs> way too late tutorial, but hey, Rather late than uh, never, you know? All right, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.